D and D broadcasting. I'm Doug. I'm Donna. This is oh, cheers to all of you out there. Thank you for flagging D and D broadcasting videos. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we have to start over again. Thank you, thank you for removing uh, a thousand hours of hard work. However, it happened. I'm not accusing anybody, and uh, but somebody did it. <laughs> somebody did it. Somebody did it. Somebody flagged us, and we got shut down because Again. we had two warnings and they don't give you another chance so we weren't even warned the account just got closed and a lot of videos are gone uh, 200 over 200 videos my whole tour across the country which really nobody was watching anyway so on YouTube all because of way back when when I got into it with enough respect and Alex Jones, because of, for whatever reason, I, I don't understand it. <laughs> I really don't, because I've been, I've been speaking the truth about the U.S. government, and they're a bunch of evil, murdering bastards. I don't care which one it is. I've, I've been saying that for, no, I've been saying a lot worse than that for two years, and they are all a bunch of evil, murdering bastards. And I'm talking about uh, CNN, ABC, CBS, Fox News, Disney Channel, NASA Channel. They're all the same. We live in Nazi Germany and nobody even knows it. And everything that we do, if you take a news story, I can prove, and I used to do this too. I used to take a news story, and I can prove within the first sentence that it's a lie. It's propaganda. In fact, I'll go to one right now. And I will prove to you that I'm going back to my roots. It's obviously you people don't want to listen to uh, real people talking about their feelings. No, they don't. About uh, and September 11, 2001. So I'm, I'm going back to reporting my news stories. And he, here's the one today, on today's date, August 1st, 2009. Now listen to this. I'll, I'll start. It's a, this is headline news all over the planet. Iran, it's from the Associated Press, Iran begins trial of post-election writers. Okay. Tehran, Iran. Opposition political activists and protesters stood trial in Tehran Saturday on charges of rioting and conspiring against the ruling system in the country's first trial following the disputed presidential election, Iran state media reported. Okay? Stop right there. Now listen to what this is saying in the United States of America. They are putting people on trial in Iran for disputing the election, okay? Well, everybody, if you're listening to me, you know that in the United States of America, we uh, don't have a free election. The election for even Obama is rigged. If you watch the Obama deception by Alex Jones, you will see that Obama is just put into place by the so-called New World Order, right? So now you have AP News accusing Iran of having state-run media. State-run media, if you don't know what that is, it's like uh, Hitler had in Nazi Germany. Well, AP Associated Press is state-run media. Do you understand what I'm saying? But AP Associated Press is saying that Iran has state-run media. <laughs> do, do, do you understand what I'm saying? And they're saying it for a reason. They're saying it so all of you out there think, oh my God. I 
Iran is run by a bunch of terrorists. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying here? Now, this is on, this is at Yahoo News, right, on the Internet. So now people out there, especially on YouTube, will re-upload, because I'm sure there's a video that goes along with this, probably at Reuters Video, or, or CNN, or MSNBC with uh, Keith Olbermann, right? He's probably talking about this, but all of you out there think that Keith Olbermann is a, such a nice guy, or Glenn Beck. So they'll get a hold of this story, and it'll be all over YouTube. Oh my God, Iran has state-run media. <laughs> Look at what they're doing to these people that protested in the election. The bottom line is, what I'm saying is, it's all lies. And it's all lies, even at the Associated Press. No matter what you people say to me. No matter what anybody says to me. So, here's what I'm saying. It's all lies. Now, what do you have to say about all that, Donna? Uh, well, I wanted to say... What, what can you say? Throw in your two cents. I, I want to mention the, the cross guy that we've met. Yesterday. No, wait. What, what do you have to say about what I just well, said? Do you agree with me? Of, of course, but so nobody get, will get that. Nobody will understand nobody, that. They won't get that, so it's not even worth, you know, it's not even worth discussing. We're the only ones that understand. Okay, so the we're twisting. Okay, we're gonna put the this, twisting shit that goes on. Okay, so here. it's it's okay. So we're gonna but put that story in this, this video. This is an example. Talk about the cross guy. This, this is an example of of yeah, for the brainwashing. Four seconds. The, the brainwashing that goes on. We were walking through Old, old Lyme yesterday, and this this guy dragging a giant cross is walking down the street. So we stopped, and Doug interviewed him. It turns out he's he has this cross, and he's going from Bangor, Maine, to Mexico with this cross, and it was a all big cross, big huge covered cross, covered with everybody has signed it and everything. Well, that's great. I mean, great. I'm I, the guy was really nice, and I'm all for him. He's you know, I even gave I even gave him money. But the thing is, somebody is doing his life story, um, and the media has talked to him. Um, Doug just went across the country, three thousand miles. Do you think the media would ever ever touch his story? Do you think anybody would enter, ever interview him about all the things he saw, all the people he talked to, Ground Zero? No. And why wouldn't they, Donna? We're the only ones promoting what he just did. Because he's, he's talking about something real. Um, Jesus isn't real. And what difference does it make anyway to what, what's going on in the world right now? This guy's dragging this cross across the country. What, how does that help what we're going through right now? It, it doesn't. What Doug just did helps us. Everybody he talked to had something to say about 9/11. About 9/11, and get their get their frustration out about the state of this country. And we put the videos up, and nobody freaking watched them. There there should be a DVD made of the interviews he did and the things that he saw uh, going across the ten states. And uh, so that's the difference. This guy's getting his life story written in a, in a book or a movie. I forget. Some guy's doing a movie, gonna do a movie on this guy walking across the country, bearing a big cross, but here's the deal. There, Jesus never existed. We'd have to pay somebody. Nobody would pay Doug to do his story. We'd have to pay somebody a million dollars to do his story. So that's the difference. That's the frustration. That's, that's what just gets my goat. Um, we're gonna make our own DVD of his story, okay? And give it away. Okay? Because we can't, we can't fight this brainwashing crap anymore. It's just these people coming out looking at this guy with his 